This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to the video quick tip. Then this quick tip, I wanna show you guys kind of how to create this grainy, shadowy texture look that you see a lot on the internet nowadays. Uh, very popular in motion graphics, illustrations, character animation, stuff like that. Uh, it's a pretty easy thing to create and there's a lot of ways to do it here. But if you do a quick little dribble search, I just searched the term grainy and you can see a lot of good examples of what I'm kind of going for here. Um, you see a lot in the shadowy areas right here. Um, let's see here. This is another great example you see again in the shadows, kind of in the rim of things. Um, let's see. Um, this example here is also very good. You can see, as you can see, it's kind of everywhere in the illustration kind of, but you really, really see it's more prominent in the shadows, more dispersed in the shadows and in the rim. So in this case, you just kind of see the little highlight right here. Um, that kind of showcases that here. Um, so a lot of good examples on the internet here. Uh, one of my favorite ones is this one right here by Francis J. Um, in this character animation right here, you can see kind of the subtle uh, animation of the grain kind of in the shadowy areas right here, kind of adds a nice little secondary effect. And you know, it's funny because at first, when I kind of first saw this style kind of pop up, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It just looked kind of like low quality, kind of like weird. Like why is there such harsh, intense grain, um, you know, in the animations, but it's kind of grown on me. I kind of had to create this recently for a project and I thought kind of kind of share this tip with you. Um, and so again, there's a lot of ways to do it. You can use um, effects like, uh, or layers, layer styles like inner glow and stuff like that and bubbling and boss, you know, kind of get you there. And certain effects will kind of give you the ability to add that kind of highlight as well as the shadows. So if you want to do that, you would definitely um, try using maybe like a bevel and boss and so on and so forth and kind of add the grain to it. Um, so I'm going to show you here on a simple little shape here. Let's just choose this nice little shape four. Uh, I'm going to go and delete what I did. And the fastest, quickest way that I found, um, it's not the best way, but it's the quickest way I think that, you know, just works easily. It's easy to figure out. It's just to go and select your layer, go to layer, layer styles, and just add a um, inner shadow here. Again, you can use an, an inner glow for some things if you kind of want it to be uniform. A bevel and emboss is pretty good. Um, but I kind of like the inner shadow because I just kind of want it to, to show it kind of in the shadows here. And let's see, let's just reset that. And this is the, kind of the default styling of the inner shadow here. Let me make some room. So toggle down the inner shadows and the blend mode, I'm gonna set it to normal. And then we're going to, um, you can use a global light if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and increase the size. So it's gonna, it's gonna feather out and spread out the shadow here. So let's do something like 20. As you can see, it kind of softened things up. Um, I'm gonna change the angle to something a little bit more, let me just like to the lower right. Something like that. And um, so in the distance sliders is what you kind of want to adjust here. So the distance is kind of like the harshness or contrast. So if you really crank up the distance here, you can really see the prominent shadow right here. Um, and I kind of view it as kind of like the contrast or the depth of my shadow here. So once I kind of get the general direction that I like, and this is kind of where my, I want my shadow, Again, the size is the dispersion of the shadow or the softness and the distance is the harshness or contrast of the shadow. Um, so maybe just tweak it a little bit more. You know, oop, maybe a little bit too much here. Let's do 70, you know, something like that. And then once we're ready to introduce the noise, I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the noise slider right here. And now you're really starting to see that noise here. And you can really just kind of see it in um, the shadowy areas here. And the choke will kind of, um, kind of, I guess, clamp things out. And so if you really wanted to, you can kind of just adjust that and kind of adjust the spread like that. So that's a pretty interesting way of doing it. And of course you can lower the opacity. So if this is too strong for you, maybe like 40 opacity might be, you know, what you're looking for and, you know, less 
distance. But you kind of get the general idea. And the great part is if you animate this and rotate it around, um, the light kind of maintains the, the proper direction, you know? So the shadow is always going to be in that kind of, that little corner right here, um, which is great. Um, so it, it, it's kind of consistent. And you can just save this and just kind of apply it to all your layers. And it's very, very fast, very easy. Um, you can also, let's just try something else here. Let's go ahead and um, add a different layer style. Um, you can do like an inner glow. Or actually, let's just try uh, bubble and emboss here. And if you do it this way, you can get the highlight rim as well as the shadow rim here. And if you increase the size to 20 and uh, set the highlight mode uh, to normal and shadow mode to normal. I like, I like just kind of normal the blending modes out just to kind of see what's going on first. Um, and let's just change the, the uh, altitude here. change the angle and then maybe soften it up a little bit. And then to kind of add that, uh, that grainy look, you can just play around with the transfer mode. So um, if you wanted to make the shadows kind of noisy, um, you can do the dissolve blending mode and it will kind of add this nasty grain. Um, and then you can just lower the opacity. So let's just see uh, 20 and then you can adjust the color to maybe like, um, give it some nice little color if you wanted to here, you know, just something like this, you know, it, it, it doesn't look the best, but you can play around with it. Um, this is why I kind of like the, uh, the uh, inner shadow method a lot better. Um, but yeah, there's a few ways to, to do this, um, blending modes, maybe even effects. Um, but again, I think that the inner shadows is kind of my favorite method here. Um, so, yep, that's just kind of a quick little overview on how to create that nice little layer style that you can apply. Um, if you know a better way, you know, definitely let me know. I'm definitely interested in learning uh, different ways to create this kind of nice grainy texture. Um, but yeah, let me know. Um, before I go, I want to thank a quick sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform that makes it very easy to create beautiful websites, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable to make it the way you want to look like, without any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24-hour support, and best of all, you can use the promo code DOJO at checkout to save 10% off your order and support the dojo. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. Yeah, so this is pretty much how you create that kind of grainy look in After Effects, very quick, very simple, without any hardcore effects, you know, plugins, all that stuff, you know, just use the layer styles, play around with it, and, you know, see if you can kind of utilize the style better than I can, because, you know, I'm just kind of getting used to this whole thing. And, um, yep, if y'all know a better way to do this, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very interested. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.